I know you know Christian, but you may not fully understand how Christian works in an engine. In this video, you are going to learn how Christian works in an engine. The piston is a seal that seals the cylinder with the help of the piston rings. The piston ensures that combustion does not leak down to the crankcase. It provides the seal on the cylinder. What is the main function of the piston? The main function of the piston is to receive and convert the energy during combustion into a mechanical action and it transfer it to the crankshaft with the assistance of the connecting rod. So during the combustion, the piston receives the energy. It receives energy and it now transfers the energy to the crankshaft via the connecting rod. While the engine is running, the piston also moves up and down. But the movement of the piston is synchronized is synchronized at least with two important components, one with the intake and exhaust valve, and also with the spark plug or injectors in diesel engine. The movement of the piston ensures that when the piston is at TDC, it ensures that the intake and exhaust valve must remain closed. But when the piston is at a downward or toward going moving downward, it ensures that the intake of the intake valve is open. So the movement of the piston is synchronized with the intake and exhaust valve, also with the injectors. The injector injected where the piston is at TDC. So the movement of the piston is paramount to the working of the engine. The piston material is usually aluminum. Do you know why? Because of the level of heat the piston is receiving during the combustion. There is no other material that will handle this heat. So the, the aluminum is in best position to be able to handle the heat of the combustion. And the piston contributes its own quota to the rotation of the engine. Are you surprised to hear that? Do you know that it was the combustion that forced the piston to go down and that helped the engine to keep rotating? And when that happened, the crankshaft helped the piston to come back to the TDC again. Then when combustion takes place again, the piston is forced to go downward. The numbers of the piston in an engine is determined by the numbers of the cylinder because every cylinder must be sealed with the piston. For the piston to keep running, it requires lubrication. And when the engine lubrication system fails, what happened to the piston? The piston is going to overheat. And when that happens, what happened? You see this kind of thing? Do you see it? Do you also see this? What about these? This as a result of heat or overheating of the engine because the piston is overheated due to lack of lubrication. And sometimes when there is foreign, foreign object in the engine too, in the cylinder, it can also cause damage to the piston. There is always recess on the piston. This recess will determine the method of combustion of the engine. There are different types of recess or the piston shape. It can be a flat top, doom, or ditch. This is a flat. This is a doom piston. Why this is a ditch? And you should also know the shape of the piston. The piston crown, which is the head of the piston, is usually bigger than the piston skirt which is the downward part of the piston. The reason for that, as we explained in another video, which I'm going to link to this video, so you can go to the description and watch that video, why the piston crown or the piston head is bigger than the piston skirt. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.